Hi, welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika, and here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today, I wanted to do um, my little weekly review. Sometimes it's books, as I said in another video. Other times, it's just it's a product or whatever you know. I'd like to share with you guys. So I have a couple different things, um, all purchased from Amazon. You'll see the link in the comments, but let's go ahead and get started so believe it or not i've not used any sort of altar cloth any sort of yeah any sort of cloth or at all um in my practice for years i think maybe once i used um a tablecloth but that's because i was using like a table round as my altar space and it was one of those um they people don't use them that much anymore but they're like a round table and it's just got the three legs it's really cheap it's um the whole purpose is for you to put a, a large tablecloth over top of it people use it as like side tables things like that some old school stuff but anyway that's what i had at one point so i just had a dark cloth but it, it, i didn't necessarily consider it per se very sacred or anything like that but I decided to make an investment, a whole $10 investment, and go ahead and get one. So I read some reviews. I went on Amazon. Um, it's not like I can go through the you know, stores here. And I picked this up. Let me maybe hold it like this. Check this out. So this is actually really good quality. If you could look, see it. It's actually really good quality. I'm very impressed with it. It is um, thicker than I thought it would be. It has it's a lot more substantial, and I like that. So this is, um, like I said, very, very nice quality um, altar cloth. So what I plan on doing with this uh, basically is putting it, I'm eventually going to be creating a travel case. Um, not so much that I'm traveling, but wherever I'm at in my home, if I decide to set up on my porch, or on my back patio, or if I chose to take, you know, my witchy on the road, <laughs> I want to have um, sort of a, an altar case for it. I got an idea from a couple different videos I saw, and I said, wow, that would be really great. So I'm sort of collecting some things right now, this being it. So I want to basically put this on a table. So in the interim, what I'll do now is this space that I'm at, for instance, right now, this is, uh, I'm in my living room, this is my coffee table. So I would sit down here, and um, if I want to do uh, readings or if I want to do basically any sort of ritual work or any space that I want to, you know, put my magical tools and maybe, um, you know, raise energy, whatever it is I'm doing, um, spell work, whatever, I, I would like to be able to use this cloth um, to lay this down first. And, you know, this becomes my sacred space. So what I would do first before I even use it because I just took this out of packaging and I just you know wanted to show you guys this on the video but what I would do first is go ahead and um, charge and bless this as as something sacred so I'll be doing that and how does that look by the way uh, it could be as simple as you just basically believing it so it all starts with intention anyway um, you can use other props candles you can use the energy of another new moon site which there's a new moon coming um, so I could definitely use that opportunity um, to uh, grant this as something as um, or bless this as something that is considered sacred, something that I'll be using for that purpose. And I could infuse it, you know, use that new moon energy to do so. Or I can simply uh, place this in a space that I consider already sacred on an existing altar and, uh, you know, for lack of better words, a pray over it you know what I mean something like that so that is this I like this a lot like I I'm like why didn't I do this sooner <laughs> anyway so that's this right okay the other thing that um, I want oh and by the way um, I know I said it's really good quality but um, I don't know about washing it I, that was something I thought about what if I spill something on it I didn't see a late well here it is let me see hand wash okay so I don't know about that I'll have to figure that out maybe spot clean it try not to get anything spilled on it or anything like that but yeah you obviously don't want to put it in a wash uh, the other thing is are these uh, six-piece ceramic chime candle holders 
and I bought some chime candles. I have purchased this numerous times um, on Amazon. First time I'm getting these. I have chime candle holders. I've had those before. My problem is um, it got so gooky, so dirty, so nasty. Uh, it was a little clear glass star shape, but it was just, I couldn't use them anymore. So now I have these and um, I didn't try it out yet. <laughs> so I want to see how these fit. Now I'm looking at this and I hope I'm wrong, but the hole looks too big for these candles, but we shall see, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. Uh -huh. Well, you know, you got to hold it, but here you go. So it works. Ha ha ha. Good for me. I am so excited about this because I needed these and I like uh, the darker color. It's just in um, black. They can come different colors. You can get them in white. And I think there's some other colors, but black suits me just fine. So this is perfect. These are actually pretty heavy, if I'm being honest with you. They've got some weight to them, which is a good thing, uh, especially if you're, you know, <laughs> dealing with fire. <laughs> you you don't want to have it, um, you know, too light and not being able to hold it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. I, I do appreciate this. All right, so this is basically what I sort of wanted to talk about as far as review, because I know a lot of us are, you know, we like our stuff. We like to buy our witchy stuff. Um, these were relatively cheap. I think they were 20 something bucks. I got to double check, but the quality is pretty good. I'm not, not pretty good. The quality is pretty good. Like these, it's ceramic. It, um, like I said, it's weighted. It feels heavy. And um, also, I, you know, it, it, I think it's nice, you know, it's, it's simple in design. You know, I don't really want this to be, you know, uh, something that's taking my attention away. Um, it would be the intention I put in the candle, but I think this will work just fine. And because it's ceramic, I'm assuming it'll be easier uh, to clean up any, you know, residual wax or anything like that when you're done burning the candle. Now, about these chime candles, again, I have used these. I've ordered this so many times. This particular brand, I recommend this one. I've tried other ones. There was another brand that I tried. When I got it, the candles, the color were kind of faded. It wasn't very, um, and they smelled like, um, I guess, waxy, like <laughs> crayons or something. I don't know. I didn't like the scent. Uh, these are pretty much, they don't really smell like anything. And um, the colors are vibrant. I feel like you, you get what you pay for you know and these also are relatively cheap um as well uh for what you get i i've um never had any issue and i've used all the colors in here red orange yellow green two different shades of blue purple pink white and black i have a witchy reason to use all of these so yeah uh so this is what like i said this is what i i you know i'm getting into uh, next, I'll share uh, as I build this um, travel box or travel case because I'm thinking something I saw at Michael's and I, like I said, I got an idea from a couple different uh, places um, and when I really thought about it, I was like, yeah, I could do that. I like the way that looks and uh, I would store it when I'm done. Uh, that way I can, you know, some things you want to keep out if you're working on a spell, certain candles. It's okay if it's not specifically on your altar, by the way. Um, let's say you have a seven day uh, candle and, you know, it's going to burn for more than a day. It's going to burn for a while. So you might not want to leave that out on your altar. You might need to put your altar away if you're, you know, practicing uh, your still in a broom closet if you um, just don't want people in your business, you know, because some of us like to mark on our, our um, on the outside of the glass, you write things or paint things, symbols, and those things are private and they're meant for your, for your eyes only, you know, it's not meant for others to look at, to, to, you know, figure out what you're doing, especially if you have other people who practice magic in your house or have an idea, you might not want them to know. So, um, in that sort of situation, it's one thing to have it on your altar. They would know to look, but maybe, you know, you can just have that candle and maybe dress it up. You can always uh, create like a cozy on the outside of the glass, you know, like a cozy, you, a beer cozy. <laughs> you can create something as well on the out um, to cover the glass. Uh, just be careful, you know, it is fire, but um, make sure, you know, it can withstand some level of heat. But, you know, you can wrap that with something. It could be something simple as ribbon. Go to the... Um, craft store and you know get some glue 
put your symbols on a glass, cleanse it, do everything you normally do, but then take ribbon, maybe black, that way you can't see through it, any writing, and just uh, cover the glass. You know, the inscriptions, the symbols, the writings, all of that is going to be there, and that doesn't go away. Um, that is just another precaution that you can take, again, you know, to keep people, you know, out of your business. Or, honestly, if you just don't want to see it, you know, once it's done, it's there, and maybe it's a mental thing with you. You don't want to keep looking at those symbols. You know, maybe it means something else to you. There's a host of reasons that you might want to cover that really doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. It might just be for your purposes. Some of us, you know, we get a little anxiety and we kind of hyper focus on things, including our spell work. Yes, some of us witches are like that. So it might be important for you not to be constantly reminded. You know, you want to align with what you're manifesting, but you don't want to obsess over it. So that's another reason. Again, just get some glue, hot glue gun, and, you know, just wrap the ribbon around the glass so it's covered everything up. And, you know, you obviously monitor it and make sure it's burned all the way down, which you would be monitoring anyway, especially if you're one of us obsessive type of witches. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, but you, I would like to be able to pack it my altar away um, and some of the things that I use might not be something that fits maybe the decor in my home or I um, just want to keep it safe from you know people bumping into things and, and being you know curious about what it is even in your own home or like I said it adds a little bit of mystery sometimes just to keep your witchy stuff separate from your overall home there's an energy in your house that's you know unmistakable because you know you're a practicing witch right but that doesn't mean everything needs to be on display. Maybe it's more sacred when you pull it out and you go through the, the ritual of unpacking it, laying the cloth down first, you know, getting the t uh, candle set up, getting the water, getting the salt, um, having the incense. It could be a ritual, which I think is sort of beautiful, you know, to be able to, to set everything up. Um, and then when you're done, there's a ritual of, putting everything, emptying, cleaning, all of that, and putting everything away. Um, that alone can become ritual. Uh, and that's powerful enough because that's an energetic way of, you know, just kind of getting your getting things going for whatever you're going to do once everything's unpacked, right? So anyway, that's how, what I'm thinking about. And again, just always, I'm always trying to add a little bit more to my magic, add a little bit more um, to my practice and, and, you know, do what works. Sometimes I revisit things I used to do and other times I, you know, I might be trying something totally new, but it's usually always an add on. Rarely am I dismissing everything, you know, that I've learned over the years, but, uh, yeah. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, you know, reviewing some of this stuff, like I said, next time uh, it may be a book or it might be something else. Uh, what I'd like to do, and I'm thinking about it, I'm on the fence. I'm interested in one of those witchy subscription boxes. My reason for not going all in and just joining it is because I don't want to be wasteful. Um, I don't want to purchase things, a kit, you know, and I don't really use any of this stuff because maybe it doesn't resonate with me. And I think the point is that they, you know, curate something for you. Maybe you answer a couple questions, but they overall are picking things for you to put in a box. So you're not, you know, saying I want A, B, C, and that's it. You know, you, I, I don't think it works that way. So with these subscription boxes, um, I'm, I'm interested. I, there's more of me who's more interested in getting it and kind of seeing it. I love, I love subscription boxes. I like getting stuff like that in the mail. So that's intriguing for me, and especially if it's witchy stuff, right? And I love trying out new products, new stuff. Um, again, I just, you know, I don't, I don't want it to be wasteful. And I also don't want to start hoarding things as well. I'm capable. I have another passion uh, that I enjoy, which is, um, you know, paper crafts, planning and all that stuff. And I have a lot of stuff, you know, I'm, I definitely probably ready to be upgraded to an entire craft room just by myself. I'm, I'm, a, I know I do. I need that. And I'm, when I mean craft, I mean all the crafts, the witchcraft, the paper crafts, all the crafts, right? <laughs> um, so I'm capable of hoarding stuff. Let's just say that I got to be careful. It's not hard to do it with 
witchy stuff, uh, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you probably can agree with me on that. It's, it's, you know, especially things don't cost a lot necessarily. I mean, you can go to the dollar store and find things that become witchy or that you're going to make witchy, but you got to be careful because you buy a bunch of stuff that maybe you never get around to crafting and, you know, it's a thing, right? First world problems, right? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. <laughs> Again, this is Mika, Lead Taken. Uh, please like this video. It really helps me. Um, like I said, I'm growing this channel and I appreciate everyone who subscribed so far. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I, you know, I'm growing it. So I, I'm open to suggestions or topics or things like that, that you might want me to talk about or to show you some things. Just let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.